Darren, entering this weekend is a lot different the way you were entering last year. Last year, it was coming down to the wire between you and Donnie. This year, he's got the championship wrapped up, but you're solidly in second. For your only your second year back with the World of Vault Laws, how does that feel? Uh, it feels good. I mean, uh, last year was pretty stressful, and uh, but, you know, it was a lot of fun, too. So, uh, you know, you wouldn't trade that feeling or, or you know, last year for anything in the world. But uh, we're just here to uh, try to finish out the year strong, try to win some races at the end of the year. We, it feels like it's been a long time since we won. Um, unloaded a really good car, you know, all night, and uh, just shows how hard the guys kept working. And and uh, doesn't matter if it's the last race, they put out the same effort for Ed as they do for the first. So uh, good to, to, to get quick time, and we qualified really solid for the second night, too. So uh, hopefully that's a good sign of uh, how our weekend will roll, and uh, we'll just try to stay on top of the racetrack and uh, try to get us a good victory. This is home for your guys, and they've had a lot of time to work at the shop. Do you think tonight's qualifying efforts is a reflection of them being be able to be back at their hometown? Well, I don't know. I mean, it just uh, it just reflects how hard that they work, no matter what. And and you know, we have nothing to gain or lose here this weekend other than going for a win. And and uh, you know, we owe it to our sponsors. You know, Great Clips, Sage Fruit, and and uh, Team ASC, and and SurePoint, and all them guys that come out here and try to win. And and uh, they've worked really hard. We're we're already focused on how to make our cars better, uh, faster, and and make them race better for next year, so that we can try to contend for another championship. And uh, you know, they they never give up and just keep working hard. So uh, it's a lot of fun to be part of a team like that. And uh, it just uh, it's great they get to sleep in their own beds here, you know, this, this whole week. But uh, like I said, it's been been a great year and, and nothing for us to be disappointed with. Well, I'm pretty proud of all we've accomplished. Well, congratulations to Darren Pittman and the whole Great Clips number nine on Friday night's Quick Time. We'll bring to stage Joey Saldana and the Modern Equipment number 71M, which is Saturday night's Quick Time. Joey, you have 24 Quick Times this year, two times more than the next guy, which is Paul McMahon. How do you continue every night at the, all the different racetracks to get quick time? Um, just that's a testament to our engine program. Rick Long does a great job, and uh, I've been a part of Rick's program for a long time. So I know horsepower-wise we got it. We just got to get a better race package. And when we do get it, we're good, but we're not consistently doing it. So uh, hopefully we can do it this weekend. With this being the last race of the season, a lot of teams talk about, you know, maybe making little changes for next season. Are you working on anything tonight? in preparation for next year? And no, I think the biggest thing for us is just uh, the financial backing to do it properly. Uh, Dan Motter's put a great team together, and but he's uh, he's doing it out of Motter equipment, and we have uh, support from him, Saw, and Beltline Body Shop, but uh, we don't have great clips or STP or anything like that. So you definitely got to you know get everybody in place and everybody on the same page financially to race with the outlaws full time. and. And we're working at it, and I think we're doing a good job. We just uh, need a little bit more help. Yeah, you definitely are. Well, congratulations to Joey Saldana on Saturday night's quick time.